Hey guys, what's going on? Ninja here, and welcome to a brand new series. I'm calling it Useful Monsters for Iron Man. The title is basically self-explanatory, but long story short, every part I'll be selecting 5 monsters that drop something that would benefit Iron Man, whether it's an item that helps in skilling, money making, or gear and weapons, hopefully I'll be covering it all. Before we get into this, I just want to say that the first 3-4 to four parts of this series will contain the more obvious kinds of monsters, like the basic info you should already know, but I'll cover it anyways just in case someone doesn't know. Also, I won't be mentioning bossing like God Wars Dungeon, Araxor, Caliphate King, Nex, or any of that, simply because I don't think there's anyone who doesn't know what they drop, so I really don't think it's necessary to add them in. Another thing, the order of the monsters and the first 5 selections for this part were completely random, so please do keep that in mind while you're watching. I already have part 2 prepared, but please do leave monsters in the comment section down below that you think I probably don't know about or should mention, and I'll credit you in that video because it does help this series last even longer, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 5, Cows. This was kind of sort of obvious, but aside from the fact that they drop meat, the main reason I chose them was for the cowhide. It's extremely important as it will be the thing you'll use for several crafting levels. Also, when you get to 27 crafting, you can make yourself some good money by crafting hard leather boots. This is a really good way to start off your account because you'll make about 8.1k cash per inventory, and it's only about 2 minutes of work. So once you get 27 crafting, kill some cows, preferably the ones near Berthop of course, because they're a lot easier. And once you get your full inventory of cow hides, head over to Jack Oval who's only a few steps away from, where from the cow pen, and tan your hides into hard leather. Use your needle and thread and make yourself some hard leather boots. Then once you're done, Trade Jack over once again, and you can sell them to him for 300 GP each. Bank was made. Number 4, Troll Shamans. Besides the really good XP you get, the Troll Shamans drop the Mind Spike Staff, and this is extremely useful to anyone, not only Iron Man, because this represents the four basic elements that is air, water, earth, and fire. Obviously not all four at once, but one at each time, which will save the cash you would have used to buy one of those runes for maybe something more useful later on. Now, this isn't that rare at all, in fact, I actually do end up getting one in the first minute I spent there, which shows that this thing really isn't that hard to get at all. Number 3, Grot Worms. These guys can be found near Port Serum and aren't that hard to kill at all, but of course will require a good combat level because of their 10k HP. Grot Worms drop Rune, which you can either use as armor, or Alk for gains, and they drop Ceradoman Brews, which you can use for bossing, and you've probably already seen it, but I do end up getting a Ceradoman Brew drop, which proves that they actually aren't that rare at all, but also to top it off, they drop Royal Dragon Hide, which is used to make the TR-65 ranged armor, Royal. This will require a certain crafting level though, so do keep that in mind when you're doing these guys. Number 2, Steel and Iron Dragons. Located in Brimhaven Dungeon, these guys are super useful in many things aside from just the Dragon Bones and normal Rune Drops, but they drop Runite Limbs and that can be used to make Rune Crossbows, which obviously will be one of your better choices at around 60 range. And they also drop Rune Hatchets, which you can't obtain unless you kill these guys, and trust me, you'll need this in woodcutting. Also, you probably already saw it, once again, I actually do end up getting a Runite Limb drop, so I don't think it'll take you that long to get one either, but unfortunately it's a Rune Hatchet that you'll probably suffer a little bit for. Good luck in advance. Number 1, God Wars Dungeon Minions. I couldn't end off part 1 without these guys because they drop the best free armor you'll ever get as an Iron Man, again leaving the usual bossing out of the picture. You'll need a decent combat level and a god related item before I'd recommend doing this, but it's truly worth it because they drop TR-75 Warpriest Hybrid Armor, and for those of you who don't know, Hybrid represents all combat styles, whether it's magic, ranged, or melee meaning this armor is good for all kinds of combat styles. I really can't think of a reason to why you wouldn't want this, so definitely get this as soon as you can. It should only take a few hours of camping to get your full set if your luck is terrible, but in either case, luck or no luck, it's truly worth it. So that's all for today, I hope you all enjoyed the video and are excited about the new series. Please do leave a like, a comment about which monster I should add in, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos and more of this series. And that's all for me today guys, take care, peace.